Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today we're here to talk about the BDH high ration or high energy ration bars. Um, now, full disclosure, I'll go ahead and start off with this. They had sent me a, a smaller kit in the uh, several weeks ago that I reviewed, and now they sent this larger one, which I was really excited about because having more emergency rations on hand or either just a supplemental uh, ration is always awesome to have and so with this one though you get a metal ammo box that literally functions just like your typical military ammo boxes except obviously inside you're gonna have this is I think nine days worth of rations in this one box and the lid is detachable like a regular ammo box and you do have an o-ring to seal it so you're going to have something that is uh, moisture and also uh, waterproof. So that's all awesome. And I'll show you what you get in this. This is what they look like in case you didn't see the last review. Um, you get two bars in a vacuum sealed pack, which also are individually wrapped in plastic. So, and you get a 20 year shelf life. So this is one right here, as you'll see, good through 2044, right? So. This is awesome because there's a lot of uses for them, right? Like it's not just uh, survival rations, right? This can also be used if you're a wildland firefighter, uh, search and rescue, mountain climbing, rock climbing, like all this kind of stuff. Like, especially like if you're rock climbing, because I've done that in the past, uh, you're trying to keep yourself as light as possible, but depending on how long you're gonna be climbing, you might want some kind of food to be able to take along with you so that you can keep your energy levels high and keep enjoying your experience, right? But also with search and rescue, you know, you're probably already gonna be taking some food, so might as well go ahead and take um, some energy bars like these, right? Or at least emergency rations. What if you run out of your food? What if you get separated from the group, right? Or you find the hiker or the lost person you know and you instantly have something that you can give them when you reach them right along with water and any kind of medical care that they may need but the great good thing about this that i love is that you can keep this in your car right so whatever job mission uh camping experience hiking you know whatever when you you could just keep this in your car and then when you get to where you're going take out what you think you're going to need right and i'll go ahead and show you if you want to pause this right there i don't know if you'll be able to read it much um but you got 230 calories uh and per bar and one bar is one serving um you've got five grams of protein there's no cholesterol sodium 115 milligrams because you will need that just because you want to be able to stay hydrated and that's going to help with that um 33 grams of carbohydrates and like nine grams of fat so I highly recommend having stuff like this on hand. The small pack, yes, that works um, and will probably work for most people, but for those that are more into being outside for their job and or uh, like me, camping, hiking, backpacking, all that kind of stuff, these are also great to be able to help supplement whatever it is that you're doing or just be on hand in case you run out of the food <laughs> that you have. And there's different stuff you can do. You can eat these with milk you can put them in yogurt like crumple it up and put it in yogurt um you know obviously you drink it with water because i mean i do have to say they are kind of dry but these things are tended to be that way so you know obviously drink it with water and you can get creative right literally you can make it as a cracker style type of thing or a dessert cookie with your backpacker meal or whatever food that you brought with you i mean i think there's a lot of uses that people could get out of this and you just if you get creative there's a lot of different ways you can use it and then of course when you have a 20-year shelf life um if you're not going on a regular basis right you can really store these for and not worry that when your next trip comes up or the next emergency for your firefighters your wildland firefighters your uh, skiers, right? Hiking, backpacking, all that kind of stuff. Uh, search and rescue, like I said before. I mean, you can really store these for a long time because hopefully, let's just say you're in search and rescue or wildland firefighting, uh, let's hope you're not working very often, right? Because <laughs> most of your, you know, uh, search and rescue or a lot of a lot of them are volunteers, so hopefully you're not busy, you know. But when you do have something that you have to do, 
a situation to respond to, you got something awesome. Or, of course, you can always just unpack these since they are, where did I put it? Vacuum sealed to start with and individually wrapped on the inside. You don't have to worry about whether uh, getting into these, but you can empty these out, put the stuff in your packs or your bug out bag, your get home bag, your emergency bag in your car, right? And then use this like an ammo can. Um, if you're somebody like me, you almost can't have enough of them because I'm always trying to stock up on ammo as much as possible uh, just because I have different pews and different pews need different calibers. Um, and I like just to have them one just to go and train, go and recreationally shoot, or of course for emergencies, um, I like to be prepared, right? Obviously that's kind of the theme of this channel. All right guys, before I go keep going, if you like this kind of content, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all the things you know. It helps the you you know YouTube algorithms. It helps me get more stuff like this so I can bring it to you and tell you what I think before you pull the trigger and uh, get it yourself, right? At least you'll have a chance to somebody that's gonna honestly review and give you a detailed review of what it's like. Um, I like these guys. I ate them, they taste good. I had my family eat them. Um, I think we all kind of came to the consensus that it tastes like a sugar cookie. It's just more dry or drier than a sugar cookie. But I mean, so, and that's an important thing about, you know, emergency rations or supplemental rations. You know, you want it to be something you would eat normally, right? And so, I mean, obviously you're not gonna sit around your house eating these, but it's something that you like the taste of, to me is very important because you don't wanna be in a bad situation and then have to eat food you don't like as well. It's just not making your experience very good, <laughs> right? At least you get a little pick-me-up, you get the energy boost, you get some calories in the system to keep you going, and it can either really help you with your work or help you with the adventure that you're on. Okay, guys, hopefully this will help you in your purchasing decisions of finding a good high-energy bar, emergency ration for all different types of activities and jobs. I really think you'll like it and benefit from having it, and... In the meantime, guys, be prepared, have fun, and check out the BDH High Energy Bar.